We're not a development project. We're not even a conservation organization. We are researchers. You know, scientists never give up. And they have to be there. And we, I, I, you know, I have, I think I've graduated 14 or 15 students already, graduate students with PhDs. So we had an army of people called students that are vibrant and excited. And I have a study abroad that is just wonderful. And I take, uh, I have two study abroads now and I'm gonna try to get three. Um, you know, so we have, you know, 15 to 25 people in each of those study abroad. So, you know, they come every year and they invigorate all of us again. You know, the local people have something to laugh at. You know, they don't have a lot of television. So they gotta have some <laughs> entertainment. And our undergraduates certainly provide that. And then, you know, and so we never go away. It doesn't matter if there's huge po political upheavals. It doesn't matter if things are going right or wrong. We as scientists are always there. I built that building. <laughs> there it is. I built that building because I wanted to show it could be done. I said, you have the best biodiversity in the world. You should have the best research station too. So we worked on it together. And then we finally inaugurated it in 2012 with a lot of help from a lot of our friends here around in, in Stony Brook and, and, uh, and Stony Brook University too, and NSF. I wanna, can't tell you how many NSF grants have gone into that. So, you know, it's, but all right, those are some of the things, is long term, really putting your heart to, into it, them knowing that you care and that you're gonna care for the long term and no matter what, you're gonna be there for them.